So the eighth right of brotherhood. Simply put, don't be a hater. You know shaitan, he's the first hater. He saw Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless someone and he couldn't bear to see someone else getting the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he said, what is this dude? Who is he? I'm better than him. That was the first hater. Some of us have this quality within ourselves that we look at things around us and regardless of how beautiful it is, regardless of how much good there is, how much potential for growth, how much khair there is, we see the aid, we see the fault, we see what's wrong with it. Imam Sha'arani, he says, no, the next necessary component for brotherhood and fellowship in our community is that we grow within ourselves the potential that whenever our brothers and sisters increase in wealth, increase in deen, increase in acceptance in, from people, increase in knowledge, increase in anything from the dunya, that we equally increase in our happiness and pleasure at seeing them being blessed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know the worst thing about being a hater is that your hatred will never end because Allah will always bless people. And the thing that causes you pain is seeing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's blessings on other people. Simply put, the way you can solve this problem if you have this disease of hatred, you're a hater, the simple way is to solve it is remember this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's treasures are not limited. He can bless that person with the whole world and everything in it and it won't diminish your share at all. It's a misunderstanding of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy. Don't make something vast into something so small and restricted. Understand that there's no reason to hate when the one giving has enough to give everyone to their heart's content.